Okay. Now, all these names are kind of weird, mm -hmm. and this is no exception because we're not really pulling the neck, right? right? right. So the hands are just resting behind the neck, and you don't ever want to use any force to pull your neck. Okay. I have Katie sitting up on a cushion because we know for her and many, 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 many more people, it's difficult to just sit out straight with her, sit with her legs extended out straight and without her pelvis tipping back. And I'm actually going to challenge her a little bit more to sit up there. Yeah. Can you feel how that is yep. more work? Go back to your normal. Just show. Mm -hmm. So that little bit, her pelvis is actually tipped back this way. And she's going to sit up taller, and now she gets more length out of her back. Okay, so this is about articulation. So she's going to tuck her chin to her chest and roll down. And I always say roll up like a little cinnamon roll. Like you're going to take the doughiest part and bring it down, 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 down. And you get this amazing stretch down these erector spinae muscles mm -hmm. on the spine, right? Mm -hmm. And then from there, you're just going to stack it back up one vertebrae at a time and reach those elbows out, letting the shoulders sink down and her neck stays in a nice neutral alignment. Again, inhale, prepare. Exhale, tuck the chin, roll up into a tight saddle. Shoulders. She's doing a great job hiking, not hiking her shoulders here. This is where most people will. And then roll back up. Go back to pelvis first. Yep, and then stack, stack, stack. One vertebrae at a time, reaching those elbows out to the side. Yes, beautiful. Okay, so for most people, go ahead and let your hands come down. <laughs> you can relax there. For most people, that's enough. Mm -hmm. So that would, can be the neck pull. What it looks like in Joseph Polani's book, <laughs> Return to Life, you don't get no pillow. No pillow. No pillow. We take the pillow out. And you actually start on the floor with your hands behind your head. Okay, so we have Katie down on the floor to do the full variation of neck pull now. And it's extremely similar to the roll up that we did, although it's different in the fact that the roll up, her hands are straight up in the air, and now her arms are behind her head. So this is what we call a longer lever, meaning that there's more weight back here, and therefore it makes it harder. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So she's going to pull into that TA. She's going to tuck that nose down, tuck that chin down. And then right here, a lot of strength to come all the way up, reaching those elbows out to the right and the left, rather than squeezing your brain with the elbows. And then she's going to keep rolling into her little cinnamon roll ball here. Tuck that chin, tuck that chin, round, round, round. Look at this round. She's good at round. Okay, now she's going to start to pitch back her pelvis mm. and roll back from there and softness in that neck. Start to let it come out as you come down. And that is one. Do you want to say it again? I do. So inhale, prepare, exhale. Nose to chest, roll it up. She's reaching her toes that way, squeezing her glutes. Glutes are your friend here. Cinnamon roll down. So you're round, 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 round. Mm -hmm. And shoulders relax. Good. And then she starts to pitch backwards rather than stacking up. Yes. Elbows are still stretching out to the side. And she brings it back down with beautiful control. Can we all give Katie a hand?